Welcome to MedCam for Jewelry. In this lesson, I wanted to cover post-processing in MedCam. Once you have finished calculating all of your toolpaths and are happy with their order in your layer window, you can click on post-process button, which looks like an envelope, and specify a few options. First is the name of your program. This should be descriptive to you. And simply there for your organization. Confirm that you have your correct machine and post processor selected and then specify the home position. Home position is the point between toolpaths where your bit will return. You do not want this to be at 0, 0, 0 under almost any circumstances. Most likely you want it to be at something like x, y at 0 but z at the highest z point. This will ensure that no matter where your mill is turning to prepare for its next toolpath, your bit is raised high up and will avoid any collisions. For example, a common point that I use is Z50. Of course, if your model stock, the actual wax block that you use, is very low or very short, you can use something smaller to save yourself um, the time that will be otherwise wasted by raising and lowering the bit. But be careful, if you put it too low, you will likely end up breaking something. Then click Post Process and select a place for your output file. Click OK and you will get your detailed listing of your toolpaths here as well as your tool machine time. Your tool machine time will not always be accurate. 5-axis toolpaths especially are less accurate than your indexed or the rotary toolpaths, but overall your non-continuous toolpaths will be estimated with some degree of accuracy for your machine, provided that you do not override your speeds as you go about your milling. This is a fairly straightforward window, and there really isn't much else that you need to do. Uh, with it once you're done. Once again, remember that the order of your layers in Rhino will reflect how your post processor and ultimately your final milling file will be organized. So, for example, if you move your index path that we have initially at the top here to the bottom, click post process and write it out again you will see that now your boundary path is calculated last. So pay attention to that order. Thanks for watching.